Let us make welcome to the stage someone who is a friend, a colleague of Wiseman Daniel. Someone who was mentored for several years under the tutelage of blessed memory, Prophet T.B. Joshua. Ladies and gentlemen, with a round of applause, please let us make welcome to the stage evangelist Frank Harvey Logan. Praise the Lord. Can I hear somebody praise the Lord like he is able? Can I hear somebody praise the Lord like he is worthy? Oh, come on, that's not loud enough for the King of Kings. If you believe that today is your day of healing, deliverance, and all of God's blessings, let me hear you shout, but swana for Christ! But swana for Christ! But Swana for Christ! Yes, but Swana is captured for Christ. And there's nothing that the devil can do about it. Greetings to you all in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. My name is Frank Harvey Logan. Logan. Your brother in Christ. And general overseer of Faith, Hope and Love Ministries. Faith and Love and Ministry in the United States of America. Thank you. It is a great honor and privilege to be here in the midst of the beautiful people of Botswana. On this historic day, day two, of the Botswana for Christ crusade with my big brother in the Lord wise man Daniel wise man Daniel yes by the special grace of God, I was given the grace for many years to serve as an evangelist in training at the Synagogue Church of All Nations. Church of All Nations, Scorn. where I worked closely together with Wise Man Daniel under the mentorship of our Father and the Lord, Blessed Memory, Prophet T.B. Joshua. It was in the year 2005 where the nation of Botswana Welcome Prophet T.B. Joshua for his very first international crusade. Yes, it was in this very stadium where thousands witnessed the evidence that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever.
Many of us can recall the epic words that Prophet T.B. Joshua spoke when he first stepped into this nation. In his exact words, he said, I have come to do what I was born for. What I am living for. And what I am going to die for. As we have all seen on Emmanuel TV. Prophet T.B. Joshua lived his life for the gospel. And the advancement of the kingdom of God. Until his very last hour. When he was called to be with the Lord. Let us take a moment of silence. To thank Jesus Christ. For a life well spent. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Yes. Hey. We can see that Prophet TB Joshua. Joshua. Was a good mentor. Because yesterday we saw that indeed his legacy lives on in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So I am here today because Prophet T.B. Joshua taught us that we are to live at peace with one another. Most especially with our fellow workers in the vineyard of Christ. Listen. Don't think that just because I am here supporting my brother in the Lord, wise man Daniel, that we have never had confrontations. In fact, you can only imagine. How many confrontations we had. As we lived together for many years. In the disciple room at the Synagogue Church of All Nations. Sometimes wise man Daniel would shout at me. Hey Frank, you didn't mop this floor. Hey Frank, you didn't clean the bathroom. In fact, if not for Christ, we may have even fought physically. But our Father in the Lord, Prophet T.B. Joshua, taught us that the right knowledge of God settles peace. He taught us that as soldiers of Christ, we must learn to fight and settle. Let me tell you something. There were some times when I was going through some difficult situations. And wise man Daniel would call me. Me wise man Daniel and And he would give me words of encouragement. And he would pray together with me. So I want to take this opportunity. To say thank you, sir. 
Thank you. Thank you. For being a true brother in Christ. And being an inspiration. To all of us. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Prayed in John chapter 17. Verses 20 through 23. That all believers. Would demonstrate the kind of unity. That would marvel the world. So people of faith. It is not enough that we just come here to receive from God. But we must also maintain what we have received from Him. By living at peace with one another. So as we welcome the choirsters back on the stage. To sing beautiful songs of praise and worship. Let us open our hearts. And release ourselves. From every unforgiveness, every pain of the past, and all bad feelings towards others. As wise man Daniel will soon be coming into our midst. And there will be such an outpouring of the Holy Spirit that the nation of Botswana will never remain the same again to the glory of God. If you believe that, how do you let me use shepherd Swana for cry?